The video playlist feature is a very nice widget to have if you've got a lot of videos from either Vimeo or self-hosted or YouTube that you want to have on your website. It is something that I would also like to see in the future even for audio, an audio playlist that would be very, very nice. Because a playlist is one of those things you can go onto somebody's website and you can watch it and it can just play by itself. If you are interested in these widgets, you can find them over there at Template Monster as a separate add-on, only the Jet Elements, and you can click on the link below. That's an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase it, you can see it's mere $15, then I will get a little something for the effort. So go ahead and check out Template Monster by following, out, uh, following the link below. Let's go back and check what those video playlist element and widget is all about. I get so confused. Element add-on widget, hey, the areas become so gray video and then we choose this one playlist drag over here you have three ways of adding videos to this and the first one is with your youtube or vimeo or a video url i'm going to be going with youtube let's choose just some of the videos that we've made and i'm just going to grab the links here and type it paste it over here this one should be the advanced carousel. And for now, because this is all, I don't have to do any more styling there. So I don't have to worry about copy and paste. I can put in another one. That one should be animated text. We add a third one. And this is the audio player. We can add more. Ooh, uh, just let me copy. I've got two screens going on here. That's why you're not seeing what I'm doing. And then let's see what happens if we add a few more beyond what is displayed there. Not title under URL. And then you see we get the scrolling bar over here. I'm going to add one more just so that we can have something realistic to work with. And then we add that there. Let's go again back to the, now you can see the titles that I've used on YouTube. They are displayed here, but let's make it shorter. For example, the first one, we will just say advanced carousel. And then for the second one, that will be animated text. It would be nice. I'm thinking while I'm typing this, if we actually could bring in a playlist. I wonder if that is possible. You make the playlist on YouTube and you just bring the playlist URL in here. No need to go and bring in all of these one by one by one. Hmm, that's an interesting feature. Wonder if it could be done. Button and then the last one, which is the download button. Good. Now let's have a look at settings. Under settings, you can change the height here of the playlist. So let's type in there 600. You see it extends. We go back to 450. You can also put them at the bottom and that makes it horizontal. Interesting concept. Um, yeah, there is maybe application for that. I prefer it vertical. Bottom, maybe that would work better on a cell phone. Thumbnail positions can go to the left, but it's big come so standard and custom to keep them on the right. I don't think it's a good idea to go and mess around with the standard practices. Then the width is what you see over there. You can make it much smaller. I would make it a tad smaller over there and then show the thumbnail heading. Remove that. So we actually remove the playlist heading over there and the heading text, I will say Jet Elements Tutorials. And then there is also a play button that you can change for that. Let's have a look. If I click on the advanced carousel, you will see it will open here. And if I press play, I will hear my own horrendous voice. <laughs> Nothing worse than hearing your own voice, right? Only in the shower, it seems to work very well. You have a few other options here under settings. You can show the numbers and the status. I think as it is here, it is good. The only thing that you may want to go and change, and that would be the styling. And the styling will be all the colors. So we can make the background maybe black. 
Now you see this bar here that sticks out from there. The thumbnails I'm going to make black, but I'm going to reduce it a little bit. And then for the heading, we're going to make that one black. So you can play around with that. I wonder if the scroll bar, I don't see heading counter. I didn't see for the scroll, scroll bar styles here. Scroll bar, different kind of work in, in WebKit browsers. Okay, so not all browsers are going to be supporting that. There you see scroll bar and then the background of it. Let's make that a white. Yes, so you can see now how that moves on that side. Thumbnail numbers and status icons. Okay, and these are all styling options. And that is as you don't need more than that. I, again, I've said this about many widgets. When a widget does exactly what it's supposed to be doing and there shouldn't be other ways of doing it, then it gets a full thumbs up. And this to me is one of those widgets. It's very nicely done. You can bring in your Vimeo, you can bring in your YouTube or other external URLs. It makes a nice playlist. It works. I love it. It's done very well. You can style it in colors and, uh, and uh, typography the way you please. But more than this, this is how it should look. It's very nice.